Hey guys, we're here at the 2022 New York Auto Show and we have a really cool look at the all new Bronco Raptor. This is a really highly anticipated new vehicle for 2022 and it is absolutely massive. I, I cannot convey to you how big this thing is in person and the presence and the road just design of it is just absolutely insane. There's so much different than from this vehicle than the regular Bronco over here. It's 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 absurd. So underneath the entire chassis, Ford has kind of re redid it all almost. They've strengthened all the subframes, they've strengthened the frame they've strengthened the entire bits of it the suspension and of course we have the twin turbocharged v6 under the hood now ford isn't saying exactly how much power it's making but they're saying around 400 horsepower right now and of course we have that raptor um 4.0 race ready suspension with fox bypass damper it, it's insane these are massive 37 inch all-terrain tires over here with the like little bit wheels and you can just get a little bit of a hint of how insane this suspension and, and the beefing up stuff's happening over here and the best view i think of this is from the front end when you just duck down and you can see the insane amount of cladding just of stuff that v6 in there but also the insane size of these suspension components just look at the size of those pieces that's nuts that is huge so this is going to be capable of some serious off-roading stuff and to fit these giant tires on here Ford is just stuck on these massive um just like side fender flares and for venting and everything we can see this really cool component i really love how this is designed up here so of course these um kind of window pa panels right here uh, side mirror panels are removable and they're kind of connected into this kind of wing piece design and we do have some side marker lights just because of how wide this vehicle is there is some functional venting going on up here and i really like this little bit nice little hint on here i'm guessing this is all the different Bronco models over the years. So 67, 69, 71, 72. That's really cool. And I believe these are functional vents up here for the engine. These appear to be real as well. So these are on both sides as well. Some side marker vents. I really like how Ford includes these kind of tie downs here. Max to 150 pounds in both um, ends of that as well. There's even some accessory ready latches hidden over there as well. And this one has the hard top roof that has removable panels. Some really cool like stuff over here too this says accessory ready so i'm guessing there's a lot of stuff coming to this vehicle we do have these really awesome side steps that i believe it also integrate as rock rails as well really rugged stuff and you can kind of get a little bit of hint of that raptor suspension going on back there as well little peaks of that this is the tiny little fuel cap they had to fit on right here because it is a gigantic side filler there's also different taillights as well, custom to the um, Bronco Raptor. Really cool stuff. I believe the parking sensors are integrated into this as well, which is really cool. It opens up the rear hatch. Still same amount of space, still open to the side going on over there. Of course, you have a big full-size spare tire up here as well, which is massive. This whole vehicle is just excess. Let's just take a quick look on the interior because there's also a lot of changes on there as well. Of course, the doors are removable, so that's just not gonna be too much of different. We have a little bit of red, orange accents on here, but as it is a Raptor vehicle, we do get way more bolstered and sportier seats. With the Raptor logo built into the side over there. Let me just turn the audio off for a second. It's just so you guys can hear me for a second. So we do have this kind of orange um, kind of pattern going on here, really nice with this kind of Alcantara material. It's like a leather um, stitching on the side. That's actually the Ford Lightning's running over there. <laughs> really cool stuff. I really like this integrated Bronco like and over here with the orange, some carbon fiber over here, stitching on the dash. So you are getting a lot more for your money when you are stepping into this. As this is a Ford Performance product as well, we do have kind of a Ford Performance side sill up here, but you don't really need a side sill for the size of this vehicle. And stepping in oh, really is an experience as you do have to hop into this vehicle. Shutting the door. Okay, this is just, this is awesome. You're so high above everything. This is the, that's a regular Bronco over there. Look how much higher I am. That's insane. I just think that's nuts. Um, on the steering wheel, really nice stuff here. We do have carbon fiber. I believe this is real carbon fiber as well. Orange stitching going across. And we do have real metal paddle shifters over here to control the gearbox. Of course, that nice twin turbo V6 under the hood, you'll be having some nice power. And Ford's doing some really cool stuff with the sounds of their V6, and they've been sounding really cool, especially on the new Raptor. They've kind of had to fix that a little bit. Sorry for the darkness in here. Um, I can't really control that because we do have the um, solid panels. They are kind of dampened now, which is interesting. Um, coming down to the center console, we have our GOAT mode controller now with the orange accents going across. Four low, four high, four automatic, two high. Um, I believe this is a kind of to change your different modes as well. I don't think they're working right now, but normally when you turn the style, you'll get different gauges and screens going on over there. I really like how these buttons, I believe this is on the regular Bronco too, are rubberized, so they do feel very, very durable, which is nice. Um, of course, up here, you have your different locker controls, traction control, and of all, of course, as we saw in early when the Bronco came out, there's really nice accessory controls going on up here that you can kind of just customize. Um, 
as well as these auxiliary switches up here as well, which is really cool that Ford kind of integrated that into the electrics of the vehicle. Um, you also have a nice Raptor. It's impossible to see in here, but you do have the Raptor um, logo on the center console as well. That opens and close. Of course, your window controls are on the center console because the doors are removable. And if you remove the doors, um, that'd be a little bit weird. There also is a special Ford Performance um, badge right here that looks just like the Bronco front fascia. I wish I could show you that guys um but i'll try to take a picture and send it over afterwards of course there's a little bronco with carbon fiber on the shifter lever as well with an american flag as well so i just want to give you guys a quick tour of the bronco raptor because it's this one beastly vehicle thank you guys for watching stay tuned for a lot more coming from all car news